welcome back to Vigilus Oculus. I mined out the rest of the coal that was over there, and uh, it's not that much, so I'm going to be looking out for more coal everywhere. Ooh, he's got an iron sword. Let's see if it drops it. Even though I don't really need any more iron swords. <laughs> Creep ah. Nope. Not worth the arrow. Alright. So, pretty sure that's obsidian right there. Uh, might as well check it, though. <laughs> kind of looks like coal, but yeah, it's obsidian. Ugh. Texture pack. All right. Any coal on the walls along here? No. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Let's get down here and try to make progress. Yeah. Did I finish all the rooms in the hallways? It's been a while since I recorded, so I might have forgotten a lot of stuff. But hopefully, I know where I'm at. <laughs> okay. All the way down these stairs. Hop. Uh. Okay, if there's, if there's any doors down here that don't have torches over them, that means I still need to raid the hallways, so... Doors. Yeah, this one doesn't have a torch over it, but I'm pretty sure it went down there. And same with this one. <laughs> Gotta remember to do things that I'm trying to do to mark stuff. Alright, apparently I got all those doors. So uh, let's move on to this sketchy looking hallway. Uh, <laughs> ugh. So, so much potential for traps all over this. A claustrophobic area. Alright, hello, are you a boss or... Oh, hello. You're a boss. Definitely, but you might be a natural spawn over there, so... Ow. That hurt. Um, hmm. A lot of them spawning in there. Quick spawners. Punch two, do work. Ow, ow. You hurt. Drop potions too. Okay. Let's just kill that skelly that's there. And, uh, those creepers? <laughs> those guys hurt a lot. Owie. Uh, let's get up to you. Smack you, run away. Cause creeper. <laughs> Oop, he did. Not sure if he was a boss, though. Do I have. S no, I didn't get any signets from those, uh, Ender. Eye of Ender guys. They hurt, though. And, uh, can I stop their spawning? The potion spawn, I think, so. Not sure if I can, but I can try to do this. Maybe. That'll. Maybe it'll uh, stop him? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. Saw a spawner flame. Let's just get rid of that. Oop. <laughs> it appears, yes, there's potion. potion carrying mobbies. I should be able to take out by taking out the spawner now that I know where they should be. Like right here. Gotta keep my ears open now. Oh, spawning in the ground, yep. Never put potion spawners in the ground. They, uh, they spawn through grounds. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Is this just a blue tunic? Yep. Let's just check under the graves anyway. Do, do, do. Hello. Alright. I was worried they were, like, hidden spawner with custom position data. That that's how you uh, prevent the potion from spawning in the ground. You use custom posi position data, but I guess not. Decided to uh, just leave him in there. Okay, kill a creeper. And open the chest, even though it's really dark and kind of sketchy. It's not a trapped chest, right? Yeah. Eye of Sanctity. Okay. Is this where I put the signets? Aha! And I do have all four signets, so that's good. Just have to go back and get them. And come right back to this room, I guess. Um, <laughs> not sure if I just... Yeah. Ooh, I can repair my golden helmet. Yay! <laughs> I think I got that from the skeleton that was geared. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it was him. Okay, so I'm going to pause right here and come back when I have my signets. And I'll be right back. Alright, got my four signets. And I actually got an extra of this guy's because he spawned on me back there. <laughs> but uh, let's... Unlock whatever's past here. So, my mouse and keyboard are really loud on, on these videos because, yeah, the mic's been changed and uh, haven't figured out how to make them. <laughs> mouse and keyboard not so loud. But, yeah, it's like the, my mouse and my keyboard are like the default ones. Hello? Whoop. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> they're like the default ones that came with the computer. And so they're like the cheapest kind of stuff. But I'm so used to them, I don't want to get new ones but I probably should get new ones anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do that sometime, but 
For now, it works fine. Offer signet of Talia. Is this going to take it from my inventory? Oh. No. Huh. Do I have to actually have it on me? Signet of Talia. Eh. Oh, wait. Oh, pfft. Just read the book. Duh, I should probably have done that when I got the book. Are they shooting at me? No. Okay. <laughs> The mighty of I, I of August lies before you now, okay, I never were we able to destroy this statue, no matter how we tried. It and its four mysterious offering slots have never worked out by our priests. Okay, so it doesn't even tell me how to... Maybe if I throw it on the ground... <laughs> no. I don't know, um... Hmm. Keep trying them, I guess, maybe. I assume I'm not supposed to break them, right? What if I just dug through it? Uh, um, hmm. I need more of a hint than this. <laughs> Come on. Nothing? Why? Why? Eh. I'll figure this out. Hold on. Okay, so I dropped the uh, signet, like, right behind it. Because I took a look at an, an MC edit in the hoppers, like, beneath this block. Uh, not sure if that's what you're supposed to do, maybe? Signet of Erebor. This one. Right there. Okay. Signet of Ferrat. Uh, ooh, this one's a bit higher up. Uh-oh. <laughs> maybe here? Eh. Why don't you put the hopper under this block? Come on. Do I have to dig this up? Oh, get out of here. Who there? Who, eh. Dropping down from your little ceiling. Okay, the thing is just a slab. Oops. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, what was this? Ferrac. There we are. And last is Maris. <laughs> Not supposed to put that in there. Come on. There we go. Uh, massive ground, one of the crypts parts, wait, crypts along the walls opens to reveal a gleaming light below. Uh, over here? Maybe? Crypts. Do I have to find it? <laughs> from, from like way back there? Okay. Do I have strength? No. That wore off. Okay. So, a crypt. Not back here, is it? Mm. No, so it must be like way back somewhere in this area. Okay, I guess I have to go exploring again. Uh, do I remember anything of significance that like didn't have a chest or anything somewhere in uh, one of these crypts thingies? Oops, turned around. Huh. Um. Hmm. Let me read that again. <laughs> Massive ground, one of the crypts along the walls opens to reveal a gleaming light below. Crypts along the walls. <sighs> These were along the walls here, right? So. Here? No? Where are these skeletons coming from? Oh, hello, there we are. I'm blind. Okay. Eyes of Ender. Okay. Whoa, what do I do? Eh. Eh. No. Well, what's here? What's here? <laughs> Come on. Eh. I don't understand. Oh, oh! Pfft. I see. It's a teleporting pad. I should. Okay. Eyes of Ender block thingies teleporters. Got it. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. I got that figured out. Yay! So let's light this up for no reason and move on to what is probably going to be like the intersection. Maybe I see up there. Ooh, blue wall! Yay! First wall down. Wait, did I? Okay. <laughs> That disappeared for a second. Hallucinating. Okay. Get in here. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, eh. Great. <laughs> yeah. At least these guys aren't that bad. Ooh, free arrows. Ah, <laughs> uh, creeper. Spawning in here. And zombies. Eh, get here. So this is a pretty dark thing. I suppose, yes, this is the intersection. It's probably the intersection, not a intersection. Uh, okay, get out of here. Shoot. Go away. Okay. Ooh, pretty water. Let's <laughs> yeah. light this up. Okay, lighten up. Don't want to be running in through mobs every time I get in here. Even though I'm really low on coal, and I would like some coal, please. What number is this? Nine. So I must have missed one, I think. Did I? Do I have eight? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, light it up, light it up, light it up, 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 up. Wool Dungeon 1, the Chapel of Foresight. Okay, so we'll go there first, I guess. Da, 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 da. Waste of coal. What is that? Probably blue stained clay. I was like, is that really wool? No. Even though it looks like exactly like the wool. Bloody texture pack. Hello, witch. That's, uh, hmm. Let's try to kill you while you're drinking a fire resist. Because that would be very helpful if I could get that. Oh, did you see me? Yeah. Oh, god dang it, you got me slowness. Ah, uh, not gonna kill him in time. Ah. Well, that sucks, now I'm gonna have to wait out the poison. Just 30 seconds, god dang. Okay. Not really worth eating right now, because I'm just gonna have to regen it anyway. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's open these chests, I guess, while I'm regening poison. Nothing's gonna come up me and hurt me? Hurt me? No? Okay. Ooh, another word. Yes, I can make more potions. Another star. Don't really think I'll use that for anything. Another quartz. Useless. Okay, cook pork shop. Not bad. Arrows. Yeah. Okay. I should probably eat now. Nom nom nom. What are those blocks made of? Is there anything made out of coal? Way up there, maybe? Is that obsidian? Obsidian looks exactly like coal. I mean, come on. <laughs> coal blocks. There should be very, very obvious differences in blocks to be able to tell what they are. Come on now. Okay, you probably could have hit me for almost my, <laughs> all my HP right there, but who cares? Uh, let's go back to here, see if I missed anything. And uh, see if, see where the teleporter takes me. It's probably something I should do. Another no chest behind the staircase. No. Okay. Eh. All right. So figured it would take me somewhere like this. So let's place this wall and then uh, sort out my inventory and whatnot. Maybe brew a couple potions. Maybe some fire resist. Yeah. And then I'll head back to the intersection thingy. Do 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 do. -do. Would've been nice to have like a teleporter by the uh, monument to the intersection, but meh. <laughs> I suppose I should just basically make a base at the intersection. Would be uh, the most efficient thing to do. But I'm so lazy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll just you know like cut out the running back and forth if I need to. And I also want to start up uh, brewing some potions here. Hello, give me your power five bow, please. Oh. Oh, power one and breaking one, not bad. Although, meh, the only thing I would actually put on my bow would be the unbreaking, but... And let's see if I can find, like, a power two book, or a power one book, actually, and see if I, like, um, can upgrade that to power three on my bow, eventually. Let's uh, grab some bottles. Start my brewing. Okay, leave that in there, and then head to the monument. Where'd I get this bow? Got so many bows this episode. Okay. Let's place this blue wool. Blue wool. Didn't miss one. Good. <laughs> this this uh, map is quite linear, so it's not like I'll miss a wool very easily. What? No congratulation message? Come on now. There might be one at the end. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, put some of this junk away. Might as well toss this almost broken bow. And... Alright, another one in this chest, probably. 
Alright, do I have seven? Yes. Okay, so I did miss a uh, book there, so definitely be looking out for that. Let's move these up one so that I don't have room to put more. Do, do, do. Okay. And let's replace my bread with the steak, because steak is better. Wait, this is a pork chop. Ah, what's the difference in the freaking texture pack? <laughs> uh, keeping all my arrows on me like a stupid person. Uh, almost out of torches. I only have 35 coal. I want more coal. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. That should be good for now. Okay. And drop your coal. <laughs> no, not there. What did I have there? That was like a potion strength that I accidentally used, so let's put that there. Okay. Alright, let's continue brewing my fire resist potions and look for uh, the eighth book in the set thingy. So I'll probably want to put in. What is it for fire resist? Yeah, magma cream. Wait, is there any magma cream around here? Yeah, right there. Okay. And then I'll have, want to put redstone in after this. Uh, is there redstone around here? Didn't I put some in, the, in one of these chests? And there's redstone ore right there anyway, so... I guess I'll have to mine up some more. This doesn't count as mining out the redstone, right? In the map. I was wondering about that, like... Does that redstone count as the redstone in the map? <laughs> Hopefully not. Alright, let's put this in. And actually put the redstone in that chest around here. So when I come back to, for more brewing, uh, it'll be convenient. Ah, so many zombies. Impossible to light up all this uh, junk. Go oh, away! Why were you so hurt, Mr. Skeleton? Did you fall from up there? Probably. Okay. Get my fire resist. Just in case I see blazes or something. Alright. Now, looking for book number eight. Should be. Hmm, where should it be? Somewhere before the intersection. Um. Maybe I missed a room or two in, in the uh, bunch of rooms in the hallway there, maybe. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see where to go. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Should not have been hit by there. Uh, hit right there. How's my helmet? Helmet's uh, holding up, but not that good because there's a golden helmet. Did I explore this entire hallway? This would probably be where it w would be. Yeah, wasn't this the last boss? Yeah, with the um, water going down there. Although there might, the book might still be down there, I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> Anything? Just a torch in those indentations? Okay. It should be somewhere around this room. I see light up by the ceiling there, but that's probably nothing. Uh, where is that last book? Stained glass looks all right. Yeah, go away. I'll see where that book is. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. So the teleporter was like right here, right? Maybe it's. Maybe it's. Slow teleporter. Okay. Oh, oh, is that it? Ah, stupid. Okay. <laughs> so got that for the for reading at the end of the episode. Uh, it's two books now, right? Okay, let's just keep that on me, and head into the first area, I guess, would be the, um, wait, what's down here? Did I check down here? Don't think I did. One way to, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! So I can take a peek into the next area, maybe bit of, do a bit of progress, and then have that there to get back to there. Ooh. So there's some loot for each area, I guess. Sugar, not really something I would have. <laughs> Meh. Okay. Do, do, do. So let's head into the first area after I check these chests. Oh, get out of here, zombies. With your. Is that an axe? No, that's a shovel. <laughs> hmm. One thing I've been wondering about is is a custom mob loot system where you like can you can like change zombie flesh for. Ooh, cool nugget. Uh, you you can instead of zombies dropping zombie flesh, they would drop like an XP bottle. I've been wondering about that uh, by using the execute at uh, at E command, well at, at E selectors in general. I'm wondering if you can select certain items on the ground. I'm pretty sure you can with, with the, um, the new selector, but I'm not sure if you can. So that's something I want to uh, experiment with. Okay, three books to read at the end. Great. 
Because, yeah, for, like, the Wind Waker map, I would want to have zombies drop stuff like rupees instead of zombie flesh and, you know, like, other kinds of unique drops like the magic potions, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I want that, that kind of custom loot. And I think that's something you can do now, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so that's something I'll be uh, fapping around with, hopefully on a test world. Ooh, hello. Okay, it appears I've hit custom mob areas. <laughs> Easy though, because they're melee mobs. Owie, you hit me with one and a half hearts. Owie. Not. Okay, so the spawn is probably right there. I didn't see or hear any potions on top of them, so I can assume I can just light these up. Although I probably want to mine them up anyway. Okay. Skelly's gonna shoot me. Or not. You missed me, you bugger. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Die, die, die. Hopefully my timer's accurate. I think I, um, paused it and... And, uh, didn't have the timer pause in unison. So I'm not sure if this is, it's been 18 and a half minutes like the time, timer is suggesting, but it is a pretty area. <laughs> I haven't been looking around. <laughs> silverfish, okay. Um, yes, I can one-hit them. Not sure if there's any silverfish in, in, around here anyway. Pretty sure light stops silverfish spawning, so let's uh, light up some of this. These are very un... they look like a very uncomfortable pews. Having a fence in the back like that. Owie. <laughs> yeah, woo. Where'd you come from? Didn't even hear you. Should I check the water? Probably. No chest. Should I check up there in the window, maybe? Nah, surely you wouldn't put loot anywhere you have to block to, right? Yeah. That's just inconvenient. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a double loot chest up there. God dang it. Hey, go away. I guess I do have ladders that I've, I have not been using. So let's just <laughs> use my ladders for once. Hey, there's nothing up here. Unless those are spawners? No? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> so this is just nothing, I suppose. And this is something way up there, but I doubt it. But I use my ladders! Yay! <laughs> I never use ladders in CTM maps. For some reason, I just... I just don't use them. Yeah, let's get up here where we'll probably find some custom mobs that were on me. Hello, chest. Ooh. Enchant bows. I mean, books. God dang it. Might come in handy. I didn't look at him very much though. Fire Aspect 2 was on one of them. And I don't really like Fire Aspect on swords. They just make zombies more painful, usually. Uh, ooh. Fancy sword. That won't last very long. But might as well use for now. Smite. Yeah, one hit. Alright, let's look around, see if there's any spawners or anything. Oh, lag. Owie. <laughs> Not bad though. Hmm. Anything here? No? Alright, let's uh, go back past the doors, I guess. Unless, hello chest. Ooh, spawn enderman. Not sure why I would want to. That's a really powerful golden axe, but it won't last like <laughs> 10 hits or something. So that would be not something I want, would want to use. Anything on my inventory I really don't need right now. Nah. Let's check around here. Probably would be a good spot to t to uh, teleport back to base and read the books, because it's just about at the end of the episode. But eh, that's so tempting just to go a bit further. Oh, zombie! You gonna summon your horde? Uh, no. Okay. Vines making it slow to go through these tunnels. Oop, spawners. Let's light this up. Oh, the potion spawners. Definitely want to get rid of those then. Okay. Tripwire hooks. Weird. I just want to place a torch. I don't want to... Bloody hell. Alright. Looks like a lore book. But... <laughs> it's already taken... Already going to take too long to read all these. I probably missed one too. Oh boy. Okay. Is there anything over here? Probably. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Custom Mob. I don't have time for this. Okay, let's go back to base. <laughs> um, and uh, come back to this area after I've read and had a next episode, I guess. Om nom nom. Uh, okay. It went around here and second door. Okay. Anything in here? 
Oh, no free arrows. Okay. Hey, pretty cathedral. Ow. What the? Eh. Well, how, how did this sword one hit them? It's only got four attack damage. Wait. Oh, Bane of Arthabas 5. I didn't see that. Huh. <laughs> anyway, okay. I'll pause it right here and come back when I'm about to read the books. Alright, I think we only got uh, books 8, 9, and 10 this episode, so let's start uh, reading. And Argus could once again see... I should probably go back to the last one to see what happened. Um, okay, so we got a helmet. And Argus could once again see. It lasted for mere seconds, but with the last flickers of life through the dead man's body, Argus could see through the man's eyes. Argus was excited. He had a chance to reclaim his sight. All it cost was other lives. Interesting. <laughs> so began the Watchers. Instead of killing his next victim, Argus trapped a friend. Argus tore out their eyes while they still lived, and once again christened it with his blood. Up upon placing a helm... Uh, upon placing a helm upon Farrakh's head, Argus's vision was restored. But only through Farrakh's eyes. Argus saw himself standing before his quivering body. His eyes were black and empty. His hands were caked in blood. His body was small and weak, but he could see again. And with a thought, Argus commanded Farach to move. Is it Farak or Farach? Stupid CHs, you never know. Alright, so he commanded Farak to move, and uh, whatever happens next is the one that I'm missing. I need, I think, like 11 before 12. I got 12 early, apparently. So that's probably going to be uh, somewhere else in the first dungeon. Hopefully you'll find 11 next episode, and anyway, see you next time for episode... I forgot what episode number it is. Eh, who cares? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, see you next time.